Welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. Previous episodes talked about going and getting, boom, orbital collectors set up, which they are, and they've been pumping them out. Now, all of this to go and check out Alula Borealis 2. I'm just going to start calling them Borealis 2 right here which uh, at first I thought it was an ice giant, but uh, I flew on over there and no, it's a gas giant. And that's why, oh, come on, click on it. There we go. Uh, it's got fire ice on it at 0.61 per second and collectible hydrogen, hydrogen at 0.26 per second. Now, this episode, is going to be a walkthrough of how a single grain of sand tips the scale in this game. I love it. This this has been so much fun. Uh, and I did not record any of it. So, but here's the walkthrough. To get, boom, orbital collectors, we needed a super magnetic rings. Well, the super magnetic rings weren't coming out fast enough. So, in my infinite wisdom, I said, okay, well, let's just go out and make some on a different planet and ship them on in. Well, the reason to do all of this was to, uh, where is it? To get off of graphene and graphene pumping into, oop, I, uh, Oops, see, I already went the wrong way. Where are they? Where is it? Well, the thing was to get off of graphene for uh, powering things and make uh, deuterium uh, fuel rods to pump into the little reactors. Oh, mini fusion power plants. Well, here's these guys going. Uh, I got 331 megawatts. Um, and it is chewing up the energetic graphite, which is chewing up the coal. I've only got 2 million left. Uh, iron's gone. Copper will be gone soon. Stone is slowly dwindling away. Coal, it's being decimated. I had to do something. So, with that in mind, producing the super magnetic rings, Let's get on up and get out there and go to, uh, was it, there it is, Borealis 1. There we go, let's get her on up to speed. Get out of the gravitational pull of the planet, and there we go. Now, the other thing too was uh, my Dyson Sphere is, or Dyson Swarm is gone. Again, it was chewing up the resources. I could not sustain it. I had to get a stable power plants going. Something, anything. Oh my gosh. So, the cascading effect went down from there. Okay, swarm was gone. It was eating up resources. Coal is being eaten up by power plants. I didn't want to stop it because I needed power to keep uh, parts of the... Uh, planet going so uh, set up the deuterium rod manufacturing site pumping it out at um, I think it was 60 per minute I put down shoot I can't remember 80 any fusion power plants I think it was I should have checked when we were still back there yeah got that up and go running it was doing good Got up to like 700 megawatts. Oh, no, no, 1.13 gigawatts. I was like, okay, that is going to work out really good. Oh, but the magnetic super rings. Uh, let's see, what, what were they again? Oh, let's try here. So, yeah, the super magnetic rings. They weren't coming in. All right. Well, let's just head on over here and build up a power, uh, a factory. Now. I brought a lot of solar, no, no, not solar, wind turbines, wind turbines to um, power all of this stuff that's going on here. Um, I did not want to get into the logistic part of 
Oh, come on, baby. Crash. Crash. Oh, bounce right off of that one. Woo. There. Uh, to set this up. And, um... The logistics of getting power here. Setting up a whole nother power setup. Everything. It was just a... a and again, a cascading effect. So, came on out here to make super magnetic rings. So I did. I have, well, we've got 30, 60, 90, oh my God, 90 smelters making iron ingots. Then, 30 smelters making copper ingots. Now, to make the magnets, it takes iron ore directly into it to smelt it. I have 100 smelters making magnets, producing 4,000 per minute. Oh my gosh, let me put... Then, magnets are being directly injected into 24 machines making magnetic coils. The copper uh, shot straight here into this tower. Ooh, and we probably should put, let's put five in there just to be play it safe. Come on, logistic drones. Boom, okay. Now, copper and magnets. Boom, coming in here to make magnet make uh, make magnetic coils. Well, 24 smelters producing that. 2880 magnetic coils coming out. And as I was building this, I was like, you know what? Let's just stop right here and set everything up, which I did. I've got the lines coming in here. Boom, feeding into here to go into the electric motors. The electric motors will be pumped back out this way to come in here to produce electromagnetic turbines. Now, the fail was, uh, we need energetic graphite to make them, which, um, on this planet, there's only 102,000 coal, uh, nowhere near enough to support it. So. I have double checked, actually I've probably like double and tripled checked the connections to see if it's working. I want to see if this is going to work out. Oh, oh, the other um, thing is the electric motors, 48 assemblers making 1,440 per minute. Pumping around in here to go into these 24 assemblers to make seven uh, electromagnetic turbines at the rate of 720 per minute. Um, one thing I have learned about this is the resources are being stolen very quickly on these planets. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make it into the warp drive area because... Uh, there's technology here. Oh, where is it? Nope, not that one. Um, oh, crap, where is it? Somewhere in here, it uh, allows you to get to warp speeds where you can go through. Oh, gravitational warp. There it is. Consumables used to activate warp of mecha and logistic vestival vessels. Um, use the caps lock key to start the warp engine. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so I take it this, since they're called warpers, I'm going to be able to warp uh, a little bit quicker to, this, to the star systems that are light years away, like this guy. Um, oh, require drive engine four. It is six light years away. At normal flight, it would take, I'm assuming, two hours and five minutes to get there. Yeah, completely unacceptable. So, let's see if this works. I am nervous. I did not do a game save. This is all one shot to see what's happening. 
Okay. This seems to be working as planned. I've got one line coming in here to split off into those two because all of the magnetic coils will not be consumed by the electric engine. Some of them have to go over here to the electromagnetic turbines. So, this is what I came up with. Boom, the other one comes into this splitter. Keeps it on the ground level to feed into this one. Comes up high to drop into that one. So they kind of feeding into each other. This one will come in here, boom. And if there's room, it'll feed in into it. If not, boom, This uh, then it'll feed into it. This one will come in. If it gets uh, blocked up by this intersection, boom, it'll ship, ship it on over there. But let's get these guys flowing. Okay, wow. Wow, they're just buzzing away. Now, this one gets connected into these machines over here. And I hope every oh crap ah crappity crap crap no it took them damn it took them fast okay now these guys have oh uh, let's just randomly check some of them and what i did is oh my gosh i've got let's see is yep i've got this machine picking up iron ingots boom putting it in here and direct feeding it into two of the assembly machines making electric in motors. Then the electric motors are spit out to the outside belts and boom. Then go off in that direction. Oh boy, oh boy. Now let's get Oh my gosh. Iron ingots going. Oh I hope this is gonna work. Okay, that's being fed. Uh, okay, it looks like electric motors are starting to come out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that one's doing it. Okay. Yep, yep. Alright, electric motors being spat out. Yep. All these guys. Just looking for him to bounce. That's what I should have been doing from the beginning. Oh, come on, babies. Come on, this side and this side. I want to see him start bouncing up and down. And it's because the other machines are sucking all up all of the iron ingots. Yep, there they are. They're just being sucked up there. Because both sides of the assembly or both this uh, the assembly machines on both sides require iron ingots okay there goes those that's going that's going saw that one okay i'm gonna s oh there's that come on why didn't that one this one uh-oh uh-oh okay there you go all right we're gonna call that good then the electric motors coming out, raised up one level, boom, boom, combined here. They come on down into this. Now, there's that. And again, the, the electromagnetic turbines being pumped out to the outside. Yep, those are going. And those are going. Oh, they're getting material. The little uh, green or yellow dots are disappearing. And there we go. Now, let's check the power situation. And yes, there is enough so far. Uh, hopefully none of the rest of the planet is going to pull. I've already got silicon ore coming out of here. And I think titanium ingots. But the rundown on this one is... Yeah, 5,400 uh, titanium ingots per minute are being made. 1800 copper ingots and 5400 iron ingots per minute are being made here oh man okay now i have these set on remote supply and capped it at 4000 uh, yeah i didn't want to eat up all of the resources in here so oh you know what um now is everything fire yep 
Uh oh, why is the copper moving? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's it's buzzing along. Oh my gosh, these things are just hauling it. Nope, nope, there's they're hauling ass. Dang! These guys are just being sucked up. Wow. Okay, now what was it? Oh, was this because it got stacked? Yeah, product is stacking. Okay, that took care of that. I am going to go ahead and call this a success on 720 electromagnetic turbines per minute. Now, oh, what a relief. Let me double check. Uh, oh, it's, it's this logistics. And boom. Yep, we've got 10. Logistic vessel vessels in there. This is pumping them out. Okay, I'm going to head back to Borealis 3 and I will catch everybody back there as soon as I find out where the hell it went to. And ooh, there it is. Okay, I'll see everybody in two seconds uh, when I get there. Now, back here on Borealis 3, uh, this setup that I had for the electromagnetic turbines, it's all backed up. Of course, because it took me hours to build that one up there on Borealis 1. Now also, these guys, the electromagnetic rings, they're backed up because it took forever to build that um, plant up there on the, on, the, on the planet. Boy, say that five times fast. Now, during all of that time, um, the mini, uh, was it mini fusion power? Um, yeah, uh, there's no more deuterium fuel rods because there's no more deuterium being produced. Uh, yeah, Be and none of it's being cracked here because, where is it? Uh, how do I, how should I say this? Um, let, let me show you. Uh, come on, where's, where's our oil refinery set up? Yeah, God, I gotta get those out of there. All this just to get off of energetic graphite for a power source. And it looks like maybe I should have flown the other direction. Yeah, bump, bump. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Just went right by it. Well, my x-ray cracking. Boom. Is, uh, yeah. The refined oil is backed up, so it's not producing any more hydrogen. All of that just so that we can make... Nope, nope, not that setup. Just so we can make the, oh crap, what was it? The, um, I'll get it here, boom. Orbital collectors. So we can go to Borealis 2, wherever the hell it went to. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. Borealis 2, to get the hydrogen, to bring it back here, so we can start uh, refracting it into deuterium. Oh my gosh. Oh, and now, uh, I, I know the factory's gonna fire up here again sooner or later. And, oh, yeah, it's still holding okay. It's still doing okay. Now, I wanted to end this on the site where we started, but I'll find it. Oh yeah, got Matrix Labs running because uh, we still need them for our setup over there. Uh, still plan on going big on that one for the long term. Now, wow, at least you guys get to check this out and see what, uh, how everything's transpired. Yep, solar sails not being put out anymore. Uh, here we go, we should be right around in here, somewhere, anywhere. Dang, I can't find anything on this planet now. I need, there they are. I need to set up a centralized area where I can just have everything shipped in. 
And these are just uh, planetary, yeah, pl planetary logistics stations. We need to get the electromagnetic turbines brought down here. And see, I want to keep that this kind of open. So I can make more um, deuterium rods if I need to, which it looks like it's going to happen. Um, well, this is kind of a closed in area right here. So, um, let's, uh, oh, I got 33,000. Yeah, I should have enough to, uh, close this in. We'll go right there, clean that up and we'll make it nice and even right there. I'm going to plop down uh, interstellar logistics station right now. Boom. How about that one? Can we plop, get it right here in the middle? Boom. All right. Now I'm sure this is going to suck the power up as soon as we crank that up. Uh, minimum load for drones is 100%. And actually, uh, if we can go right there. There it is. And see, it just, oh my god, it's just sucking all of it out. Okay, now, uh, we got 10 more here that I handmade. Um, let's drop in 10 of the logistic drones. Yep. And we're going to set this, uh, boom, look, uh, electromagnetic turbines and remote demand. Now there's 10 ships here, 10 ship or vessels at the other site. Each one handles 400. So that's 4,000. That's why I capped it back there at 4,000. So remote demand, let's see where it draws the ships. And I'm hoping it draws them from Borealis 1. Uh, let's see what happens. No, really? Or half and half. Oh, nice. It went half and half. Half of the vessels from here and half from uh, Borealis 1. Okay. Now, come on, babies. Oh, I was going to say, did it already show up? Not even sure where they're coming from. Let's uh, zoom out a little. Okay, there goes R4. Oh, wow, how cool. And here comes the four inbound or outbound. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Oh, there. I don't know what that one's hauling. But look at that. Oh, five coming in, actually. Four of them better have uh, the stuff we've been waiting for. Let's see. Where are you? I want to see them come in on their final approach. There they are. Fush. Or five. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I better max. Uh, there, cap it at four. Whoops. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we got 2,000 of them set up here anyway. Okay. This is definitely going to be worthwhile. Next episode, uh, we are going to take some of these orbital collectors and uh, go visit Borealis too and get some hydrogen. But thank you for joining me on this journey in Dyson Sphere Program. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.